It's Easter. Do you know what relevant event happened during Easter? Yes, of course, the whole Western world is celebrating the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ for our sins. But do you know what happened in the Easter weekend of 1891 in Australia? I'll give you a hint. Lucinda. Hello everyone, my name is Renato Costa, this is Ozzy Law, and today we will talk about Easter, Lucinda, and the drafting of the Constitution. It was Easter 1891, so Samuel Griffith traveled to Sydney using the government steamship called Lucinda. He was going to participate in the Federal Convention to draft the new Australian Constitution. This was one of the many conventions that took place to draft the Constitution of Australia. During the Easter weekend, from Good Friday 27th March 1891 to Resurrection Sunday 29th March 1891, Samuel Griffith made a cruise in the Lucinda. He stopped at the estuary of the basin of Pitwater River in North Sydney. But he wasn't alone. With him, there were some other draftsmen of the Constitution. So. Sir Samuel Griffith was the Premier of Queensland and the host in the Lucinda. He was to become the first Chief Justice of the High Court of Australia, do you remember that? Charles Kingston, one of the future South Australian Premiers, was one of the members of the committee. And so was Edmund Barton, the first Australian Prime Minister. If you want, you can watch a video about Edmund Barton by clicking on the top right corner. And you should subscribe to our channel, by the way. There were some other lawyers and draftsmen around there, but Andrew English Clark, one of the important draftsmen of the Constitution, couldn't make it. Clark actually revealed the hard work of Griffith, Barton and Kingston, and he supported the work that they'd done on board of the Lucinda. On that boat, they spent what was later called a mammoth 13-hour session drafting the constitution of the proposed Commonwealth of Australia. The outcome of that Easter was the drafting of the constitution of 1891, which was later called to be the constitution of 1900, not its father or grandfather. Indeed, much of the current constitution came from that Easter weekend in 1891. We shouldn't have to appreciate and acknowledge the efforts of those men who spent their Easter working hard on board of the Lucinda to produce what we know today as the structure and the fundamental principles of the Australian constitution. But on the contrary, I hope you will enjoy your holidays and I hope to see you again soon in our next video about the Australian constitution. Until then, ciao.